Hi friends. Today in my video I am going to talk about difference between IUI, IVF and ICSI. I am Dr. Gunjan Gupta Govil, a IVF and a laparoscopic expert, director and founder Gunjan IVF World. I have commonly seen that these three terms are used interchangeably. People most of the times don't realize the difference between an IUI and IVF and ICSI. So here I will talk in detail about it. First of all, what is IUI? IUI stands for intrauterine insemination or we also know it as artificial insemination. Here uh, what is done is that the semen is washed and it is placed inside the uterine cavity. So once the ovulation occurs or the egg is released, the washed semen is placed inside the uterine cavity which helps the sperms to be closer to the egg which is released. So less travel times increases the chances of success of an I, uh, through an IUI of pregnancy. So here as we understand that the process is occurring totally inside the human body. This procedure of artificial insemination is useful in cases of unexplained infertility that is when your tubes are open, the eggs are forming normally, the eggs are releasing normally, uh, the uterine cavity is doing well, the endometrium lining is better but somehow despite all efforts you are not able to conceive. So you can go for an uh, IUI because it helps in conceiving that way. Also IUI is useful in cases of mild cases of uh, endometriosis or mild cases of oligospermia. By oligospermia I mean is that if the sperm count is low or motility is slightly on the lower side. That is the sperms don't have that fantastic motility and they are finding difficult to fertilize, fertilize then this uh, process of IUI is generally useful. What is the advantage over IVF? Well, the advantage is that it is less invasive, less costly and it is an easier procedure to perform. So, generally it is taken as the first step many a times. But final decision depends upon the emotional stress of the couple, the financial condition of the couple, the physical factors they have in infertility and also about the keenness, the anguish, the keenness to conceive and most important the age of the couple. Of course, if you are at the higher age bracket, we prefer to go for an IVF. So what is IVF? IVF stands for in vitro fertilization. So as I told about IUI, the process of fertilization is inside the uterus. In IVF, the process of fertilization is outside the uterus, outside the human body in a lab. Here, we give you 10 to 12 days of injections for the development of eggs. And once the eggs are developed, they are retrieved by means of a fine needle which is passed with help of ultrasound guidance under anesthesia so it is not painful and then the eggs are retrieved they are handed over to the embryologist who again places these eggs along with the washed uh, semen and then they are placed inside an incubator which you can consider as an artificial uterus because it has an environment for uh, like the uterus here the eggs and the sperms fertilize and the embryos grow. The grown embryos are monitored and once they are day 3 or day 5 embryos, they are placed again back inside your uterus and from here the pregnancy continues. So the process of fertilization has been done in uh, uh, artificial conditions outside the uterus and the advantage is it improvises the success rate. So when do we do an IVF? We generally go for IVF when there are multiple failures with IUI or the tubes are blocked or the egg numbers are very poor, the egg quality is sometimes very poor requiring an egg donation or the sperm count is very very poor. 
suppose the sperm count is poor or the motility of sperms is not good then we have to go for IVF the advantage of IVF that this is that the success rate is much higher in comparison to an IUI uh, the only thing is of course IVF being a totally monitored procedure the cost becomes more in comparison to an IUI but of course the price of having a baby is priceless so that is where things revolve down to so where uh, now coming to the third thing the third thing is ICSI now how is IVF different from an ICSI well ICSI stands for intracytoplasmic sperm injection now this is a step of IVF so it is a part of the IVF procedure just we go a step further when do we do this we do this especially in cases where there has been fertilization failures or that means the IVF the sperm has failed to fertilize the egg on its own or the number of sperms are very less or the sperms have a very poor motility that is they do not move on their own or if the sperm uh, morphology that is the shape of the sperms very few we have normal sperms then we usually prefer going for an ICSI or also in cases when the egg numbers are very poor poor or less so we can't afford that if we have a fertilization failure then what do we do so uh, in these cases it is generally very useful also in cases where there are no sperms in the semen but we have managed to retrieve the sperms through process of what we call as PISA or TISA in which we surgically extract the sperm from the testes so that is where even if we have very few sperms I would say if we have good single sperm we can achieve a fertilization in an embryo and a pregnancy through the procedure of ICSI so that is an advantage of ICSI over IVF so I hope through my video I have clarified everybody the difference between an IOI and IVF and ICSI and this will help you to guide and speak to your doctor about these procedures if you have liked my video please share and subscribe to my channel Gunjan IVF World and forward it to your friends. Thanks.